Can you believe it? We have returned to Millennium Dawn. Out of date. You can only pay 2,000. There we are. Look at the boys, man. There are certain people that just never, ever lost the position of power, man. We have returned to Millennium Dawn. I think it even got updated. People told me that. I didn't even know that. Um, I've been thinking and I've been hearing that Russia got a new focus tree. I'm playing the man, the myth, the legend, the smallest dick in the world, Mr. Copium. We're playing Vladimir Putin, returning him into a Tsardom. I ain't playing no f***ing Putin, don't worry about that. That's what we're doing. We're going in, gentlemen. Welcome back, United Russia. And we are <laughs> irrational, unlikable, and sly. Sure, bro. I heard they have a new focus tree. I, that is new. That is a new focus tree. Holy fuck, that's a new focus Oh, damn, that is a new focus tree. You can go pro-Western. Navalny, what? He's a neo-Nazi, right? Boris Nemtsov. Grigory Yavlinsky. We have the path of Putin. And we have the interesting stuff. We have the interesting stuff. Vladimir Zhirinovsky. Holy shit. There's actually a brand new focus tree. Why did nobody fucking tell me? I need to make the ruling part of the nationalist outlook. Wait, this is, this is nationalism. But nationalism ain't Tsarism, eh? Who the fuck is the Tsar? This has to be the Tsar, man. I guess nationalist is the Tsar? Claim the crown. The new Tsar. Yeah, I have to play Vladimir on the left. There's now IFV and APC designers. Oh! Why not take this dinner though? Couldn't they have done a fence also? The reign of Boris Yeltsin. Your oligarchs get oh you have uh, you have factions in this game. I have the Russian energy enterprises, Gazprom. I got the Russian entrepreneurs, which is the oligarchs. Okay, it's very hard for me to uncorrupt Russia and the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation. Okay, interesting. I'm ultra corrupt. I have a recession, Orthodox Christian, and my military sucks and can't take Ukraine. Got you. So the reign of Boris Yeltsin. Boris Yeltsin was the first president of the newly created Russian Federation, the successor state of the USSR from 1991 to 1999. He presided over huge economic trouble and disastrous war in Chechnya, and on December 31st, 1999, handed his post over to the Prime Minister. Actually, one day ago, he gave it to Vladimir Putin. So I'm at war of Chechnya, right? Yeah, I have to take Chech Chechnya, Chechnya. Okay, we have a lot to do. What's happening? So I'm doing the focus. The Russian legacy. For centuries, Russia has been walking its own path from the rest of the world and rarely taking steps to align to anyone. Okay, I'm, I hate the West. I'm a rentier state. Since the country is so rich in natural resources, there's little or no need to tax population. Citizens get benefits without paying taxes and have little incentive to demand good governance and political rights. The result is an authoritarian and corrupt government. What? Uh, and crony capitalism with a poor business climate for non-resource sectors. I get PP resources. I don't build very fast. I can't really change my taxes much. And I really can't fix my corruption at all. Permanent member of the UNCS. United Nations Security Council. I'm a multi-ethnic state, which just makes you unstable. I have corrupt oligarchs. CSTO member. Only countries that were once part of the Soviet Union are allowed in this faction. Integration of the Union State Stage 1. That's brand new. That is brand new. The Treaty of the Union State was signed back in 1999, but begins in op its operation only in 2000. Although integration is slow, but at the moment there are already functioning bodies in the person of the Supreme State Council. Paul, okay, what? We're gonna look at that in uh, more detail. My army is outdated. What? What? The Russian army is a shadow of its former self. The ideal will be gradually removing and military reform focuses. There's a typo there. It can be totally removed by completing the focus new battlefields. The Russian Air Force is fucked. My economy is fucked. I'm a major power, I'm a nuclear state, and I have a bunch of satellites. Okay, so what is this union thing? The union state is a unique supranational entity, where the union between two states allows them to coexist without losing dependence of one of them. Current support for integration to union state in Belarus is equal to zero. I'm trying to make Belarus be my bitch? We're trying to slowly annex Belarus or some shit. So this is political stuff? I should probably do propaganda. I want to go nationalist. Putin is the emerger, right? He's an emerger. I'm kind of happy to be back in Lemon man. I'm kind of happy, dude. Uh, I kept EU and NATO on to make it really, really hard. Russian 2000 report on foreign influence. I'm 7% influenced by China, and I can fight that. Uh, whatever your GDP is, that's how much resource loss you get. I think that's great. You can get private military companies. Where's Wagner? Where's Wagner? NATO membership. <laughs> uh, public war wariness. That's also a bit different. International recognition stuff. We don't care about that yet. And Shanghai Corporation. We don't care. Okay, man, that's so fun. I'm kind of excited to be back, man. I'm feeling this. I, it's important I play slow. Building some civvies. So here comes the good old focus tree, man. Oh, there's more here now. This is new. I know this. This is uh, satellites. There's like more now. Ballistic missiles. Cruise missiles. Fucking hell. Air and missile defense. I have to relearn all this. And nuclear warheads. Actually, there's nothing new. I'm just stupid. So we have some trains. I'm going to start with construction one. 
Let's make industry for Russia. Industrial Act Electro Spawn Polymer Nanofibers. Sure. And Stereo Lithography. Sure. Genetic Engineering. Uh, and I have actually very good computers. And Neural Network Revival for some research. Basic Industry Start. Apparently Putin wanted to join NATO in the early 2000s, but they rejected them. Is that true? Well, that doesn't mean NATO was bad. He probably didn't... Uh, um, Russia probably hadn't the uh, attributes that you have to show to join NATO. So I need to build some AK-103s. Okay. This is a basic uh, equipment of soldiers. I think the Russians in Ukraine don't even have this. Uh, I remember this mod, you have to build everything. I need some 1995 trains. ATGMs, anti-tank missile and anti-tank guided missiles. Mounted ATGM. Utility vehicles. And I'm not going to build 1985 shit, no. That's all the basics. I will not do any tanks yet until later. I actually have 2005 helicopters. That is five years out of time. Holy shit. Bro, I'm going to make some helicopters. <laughs> Let's make some helicopters, bro. We got to take down the Chechnians, which I think is very easy. You just do that real quick. I think we're ready. Build helicopters so they can be trashed at hostile mail by Ukrainians. We're going to have a lot of jokes in these Russia streams. Da, 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 da. Oh, shit, man. I always had an issue with Lemdon that I didn't understand the way the army works. That's why I always like to delete the army and then rebuild it. So I actually understand what the fuck's happening. Okay, let's finish this real quick and then we uh, delete the army and rebuild it, man. Boost the house of Romanov for 100 PP. I don't know. By the way, if you pop a Chechnya, you get Kadyrov and a new focus tree. I feel like no. And Chechnya is with us. Thank you, Chechnya. Welcome. Oh, 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 I get stagnation for free. This one makes crazy sense to get this. Modify broken economy. That seems ultra good. So appease the Moscow oligarch seems to be the best right now. We appease the oligarchs by investing some money. If you press the building icon donation tab, you can see buffs and debuffs for different ideologies. I remember. Yeah, every ideology has bonuses. So if I go nationalist, but I thought I'm monarchists. Wait, the monarchists are nationalists. It's really weird, man. I get this stuff. I get outdated ideals. Okay. Monarchy kind of sucks and you lose 50 disability. Thank you. you get crown estate. I get 10% more taxes. For king and queen, 10% core defense and attack. Not too bad. Keep it the family. Corruption gets lowered and internal factions uh, get lowered. The minus 15 stability is pretty harsh, man. Nice. That's a huge industry bonus, man. Very, very big. I think this one is just really good. You lose 35 billion. Oh my fucking god. I almost have 2 trillion debt now. But I get fast growth, which helps shit ton. Ah, to fucking... What the fuck? I feel like designing this when I research the new one. Like, when I give a shit. How Romanov gets boosted and boosted. The Romanovs are rising. Uh, I got... Oh, I'm getting a... I'm keeping a stock market boom. Hey. Okay, I will just say great. And I get fast growth for free. Very lucky. I just got fast growth. Now you're getting the last one with focus. Oh, yes. It turns over and I get economic boom for free. Sips make you money? I don't think that's true. That's a lie. This makes you money? Look in the money. You see it comes from sifts. Oh, okay, yeah. Your sifts have a multiplier for your taxes. Okay. But real income is the corporate buildings. Okay, okay. So I'm going to keep pushing House Romanov. Congo has the pox. <laughs> Expand your laboratories. You're now allowed to get a new resource slot for 100 billion. Fuck yeah. So because my GDP has risen, I'm now allowed another resource slot. That's cool. That's how you get research. You have to actually click it. You have to pay attention to it. Mao is Nep Dude, this game is so unhistorical. Unified Marxist Leninist Nepal. It is historical. There was a Maoist uprising in Nepal. Nepalese Civil War. Funny how nobody knows anything about that. There was a Nepalese Civil War, Aldo. What the fuck? Let's do. I need to do industry, right? Get it out of the way. <laughs> the Jews are making an office sector. Obviously, oh, they're the only ones making us money. And you get infrastructure and industry tech. Let's wait for elections. Yeah, we could wait for elections, yeah. Which are on March 20, 2004. Gerhard Schröder! Dude, that means I already own Germany since I'm playing Putin. Wow, nice. Thank you, Gerhard. Thank you for suck. Oh, thank you, Gerhard. Yes, suck. Romanov has taken over. Romanov, yes. The people of Russia know that Putin will destroy their country with stupid invasions of Ukraine. It is time that the Romanovs return. Is Schröder pro Russian in this? He probably is. He is pro Russian! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I hate that guy. Biggest traitor of the Germans in the last years, man. Uh, I think the doctrines on you? Oh, there's new doctrines. Yeah, there's new doctrines. That is crystal clearly new doctrines, man. We're gonna choose later. That's cool. Now, let's take a little break and design our first infantry. I don't know shit about this mod, man. Is that a good division? I don't know much about Lendon. I'm trying to build just the most basic infantry. 
I will open up with this guy. I'm opening up with this guy. I'm pretty much just waiting for the election now, I guess. We now established the PMC Wagner. <laughs> Fuck Wagner. I don't need these Muppets. We gotta start designing some. We're getting now away from industry into actual military stuff, which takes very long this month. But there is Maria Vladimirovna has taken over the reins of Russia. The flag has changed. Vladimir Zurinsky. He becomes the new president. House of Romanov becomes the ruling party, and you get 7.5 nationalism. Maria Vladimirovna forms government, and she's giving the reins to a really weird guy, man. And then, what do I do next? I don't even know what's happening. What? Belarus left my faction. My faction is dead. And there he is, man. The evil guy. The evil man. During recent change in the Russian government, nationalistic party LDPR was elected with a leader. That's not even true in the lore. They announced new political program to radically change Russia. One of those reforms is to return to old flag and new cars and blow radioactive waste into everyone that talks shit. So uh, we have now a big focus stream, man. That's brand new. If you side with the people, you become a communist. If you ensure balance, you... Ah, oligarchs? And this is a balanced approach. I would like to destroy the oligarchs. I'm gonna make a balanced approach. I like that, more wise. Outdated ideals? Wait, I lost my... Wait, that's so weird. I'm now a conservative. That's so stupid, I lose... I lost being a Romanov. That is ultra stupid, man. That's a big mistake in the... Yeah, I have to shit on the developers a bit. You are not allowing the player to go Tsarist, man. Like, you force the player to take this, and then you can't even take the Tsar. That's really stupid. But then later here, you get Romanovs. This actually makes you Romanov slowly. Yeah, then you destroy the nationalists, and then you make a Russian march. And then you can make him the dictator, or you go Romanov here. So I want to go Romanov, okay. Uh, Milam Dawn has really the issue of a boring early game, man. War goal against North Korea. You can actually just kill them instantly, but I'm not going to do that. I'm more than a build-up phase. Um, Network-centric or decentralized? I think a big mistake I see again, developers, is this should all be 100. The game just started, and I'm literally about to finish the entire tree with the arm XP. You guys should push us to 100, not 50. We're close, guys. Soon the Tsar is taking over. And then I go into the war tree. Actually, where is war trees? Please tell me there's trees that give me war goals, because otherwise I'm going to be very sad. Chat, there's no... <laughs> this fucking... Oh. I think there's no focus tree giving me war goals. You're blind? Tell me. Who said that? Who said blind? Under the Russian gut. Oh! Dude, we have a war tree. Nice, nice. Nice, developers, developers. Corruption is getting lower and lower. We're actually making money, chat. Cool, Joe, yeah, believe it. The Ukrainian rebels have happened. Ooh. 5% world tension. Wait, it didn't work. It was bugged. Russia next to Crimea. These bastards. Yeah, how dare they? If I have war support. The Ukrainian people have held a referendum to leave Ukraine and align themselves with Russia. The Russian response was swift and decisive as they flooded troops into the region. They quickly annexed the peninsula and military positions. I even got a core. The Ukrainian government is outraged. The Tsar is coming back. Blat, blat, blat. Where the fuck is my Tsar shit? There you go. So we can kill the Westerners or we can kill the Nationalists? Fuck the Nationalists. I want to destroy him. Hungary joined the EU. I mean, uh, left the EU. Well, that's... Dude, where's my boy Orban, bro? Hungary leaving the EU? That makes sense. You know, that's actually good for the EU. Now they can't fucking shit on everyone anymore. No, you can design tanks. There is... Oh, wow. Cool. Dude, that was so sick. Dude, we're going to design some tanks, man. Often I feel like I don't even have time to make rockets and satellites because I'm look there's like this big nuke satellite rocket thing in this game But I never have time for that. Maybe later. That's the downside about this mod. Everything takes too long. Yes, 100% agree. This, this mod takes too long. I'm sorry. I'm arrogant, but I'm a genius of 4 You know, there's two things I will do right now to fix this game, right? Number one, make everyone have minus two political power. Every single nation gets minus two political power or at least one. Number two, Make every Doctrine 100 uh, arm XP and not 50. Boom. I just fixed the mod. Oh, I'm choosing my Tsar. I'm choosing my Tsar. I need a villain music, actually. So this guy is Nikolai Third the Romanov. He's a geopolitical thinker. Foreign influence is stronger. I can influence people more. Maria Vladimirovna. They all have the same. They're all the same. Andre is the most legitimate, they say. Nicholas the third. Oh shit. There it is. Chat, you guys are retarded, man. Every time an old man doesn't have a beard, they're Joe Biden, man. I actually have so much PP, I need to start influencing people. That's like a thing you need to do. Okay, that's new. They, they should change this. I always talk shit about this. Left click to set up to set Hey! 
They, it, they actually is things now to use your PP on. If you left click this, your auto influence this nation with 1.5 political game per day. Influence from the auto influence is applied at the end of every month. Auto influencing will cancel if your public power is 100. Once you set an auto influence, you have to wait 30 days before canceling it. Oh, they changed that. Good job, developers. Good fucking job, actually. You don't have to click it anymore 20 times. Okay, I'm influencing. Ah, that's how you use PP. Yeah. I get it. Nice. I'm now an influencer, chat. I can all. Oh, I can get a new. Oh, I can get a new faction. I like the industrial complex, man. I want to do the military industrial complex. Fuck the spice. Here we go. Yo, Syria's going down to Turkey, man. What the fuck, man? That's why you need Erdogan. Bülent Eshivit, man. You can trust him. My debt is lowering. I'm making money now. Four billion, man. I'm like, excuse me. The new Russian Empire, man. Strengthen the Union. Imperial Russian lands. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Belarus. Belarus, man. Let's prepare that. I want to be a bit political and prepare stuff. I'm gonna improve relations with this guy. So, oh, I get the next war goals. Now shit is getting interesting. Uh, how did you invest in someone? I forgot how to do that. How did you... You have to click here. And then you go for investments. Uh, here we go, investments. I'm now investing into Belarus. And that gives you points? I don't know if that's true. Decision to lower autonomy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Or oh, 62. Thank you, guys. Okay, nice, nice. So, let's ask Ukraine to join me. Let's see what Ukraine says and then... We need the special military operation, man. Well, we're actually denazifying them a bit. <laughs> oh god, what is this content, man? Don't lose all your helicopters at hostile mail. We should actually... This is getting way too realistic right now. Let's exercise on their border. Okay, man. Ukraine, this is very edgy content right now. This is not gonna go well for Russia. They have a lot of fucking trash, man. They have fucking militia against mechanized. Kiev in three days challenge. I'm having actually fun. Now the game is getting a bit more interesting, man. So, we're now doing invite Akazia and South Otesia. I mean, we're trying to get these two guys to join us. What's that, Jerome? What? Jerome? What are you... What? Jerome? Oh! That's not Jerome, that's Nikita Gorgevich. What are you talking about? Get the next war goals on... No one is defending them. I can't just take all this stuff. Okay, we might be going into... Kazakhstan, man. Let's take that focus. Akazia accepted to get an X. There you go. There you go. Let's get them in position. Give it a sec. Nothing really bad happens. Okay. A quick little pacification. Nothing bad. We're all friends here. We're all friends. We're all friends, man. Just a quick little fun little ride, man. Some people are falling over, man. They fell down a hill. They died. It's sad that happened. And, and Kazakhstan has been peacefully integrated into our great southern. Now, 2nd Infantry, Pride of Nikolai, is retreating to Moscow, where the 1st Army is just going to ask Uzbekistan to quickly accept the rule of the... Oh, I got a lot of medals from that. Holy shit, man. It doesn't hurt to join Russia. We're all friends here. And Uzbekistan is accepting their supreme new overlords. And we're just going to have fun together. They're going to... They're going to learn a lot. These Uzbeks are very defined, but the Hawks are giving out and more and more friends are joining us in this great empire, man. Just friendly, friendly talking, man. And my brothers in Kyrgyzstan, they are great people and they will be a great addition for this great empire of friendship and freedom. Dude, they didn't even fight much. They already have so many medals. A quick little pacification, man. The world tension is actually going through the roof. Ooh. Maybe I need to chill a bit. I'm allowed to get a new uh, resource slot. Let's go, man. Because my GDP is rising. Very, very nice. The the world tension goes down quickly. So it kind of teaches you, hey, player, be a bit fucking calm. Dude, they're all trying to take Belarus from me now. AI is actually being active. Let's just influence everyone because I have all the PP, right? Finland is really under my hook. How will I use that? I'm influencing the fuck out of Finland to make them super nationalist. So when their next election happens in 2011, in two years, they become nationalists and they're much easier to take me to, to, to join me. And then I don't make world tension, taking Finland for free. Attempt a coup in Finland. Do you want to launch a coup in Finland? 200 PP, world tension is increased. 88% chance of a successful coup. A Finnish civil war? Oh no! What? That is outrageous! Yo, you want volunteers, man? Send intervention force. Oh man, you know, we're just helping our friends, man. We're just helping our friends. Okay, let's see if the the great infantry of Russia has a chance here. 
Getting our first little kill here. Careful about this. Let's not let that happen. And let's just really pacify Finland real quick, man. We want to be friends here. We don't want no trouble. The people are waving Russian flags. They are so excited. There's videos on Twitter. Everybody waving our flag. People are so happy about the Russian intervention here. And the final saw focus. Boje Tsarikrani. Whatever the fuck that means. You just, just kind of get a bunch of bonuses. World tension is slowly going down. The world is forgetting about my invasion of Kazakhstan. That's just so realistic. I'm so offended two days later. Did you ever entertain this? The Pojois Pohanmaan Vapata... What the fuck? This is like Thailand, man. Pojois Pohanmaan Vapahetoi Prikaati. It's not defending the Russian friends, man. Pan Pansari Prikati. What does Prikati mean? It's something Panzer, obviously, but... Finland is considered as the happiest country in the world, but also the most racist. Finland is very racist? I don't know about that. We're finally getting modes, which are damn needed, man. I need to get into air and ship. I'm now building my first uh, Korf plane, which is a very, very good plane. My teammates are ultra dumb, man. I need to gently carry their asses, man. Oh, my teammates are getting shit on, bro. This coop might not work. What if I just do that? And I take the airport. Oh, Russian infantry breaking through massively. The Russians! International news is going crazy. Twitter is going insane. Twitter is losing its mind. I like how they have actually winter came out. It's pretty cool. I gotta finish the war right now. Okay, now Russian planes have arrived. They're, they're fucking done, man. Finland will not be able to handle this. What I like about this mod is how you can do these insurgencies. Like, you use spies to infiltrate someone and then you coop them. In Vanilla, you don't care about that. You just fucking kill everyone, right? That's really cool. And that is Nationalist Finland, baby. What? Good, man. Turn into Puppet. I need more influence. World tension is nicely going down. Kyrgyzstan might be on the menu soon, boys. I think we're having a quick little, quick little pacification here. Just really friendly, guys. Trying to be friends. Everything is good. We're just trying to hang with these people. And welcome to the Russian Empire, man. It's nice to meet you. Uzbekistan, do you own anything? A bunch of tungsten steel, that's nice. And we're just, we're just hanging out. Thank you for being friends with Russia, man. We really appreciate you joining us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Tajikistan, also a very friendly country that we are big fans of. All the best to Tajikistan. That didn't even make that too much world tension. Nobody cares about the stance. No peace deal, which is quite weird. And we're staying calm. We're just hanging out. How long until Ukraine is annihilated? Uh, world tension, man. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Tank support with the armored reconnaissance. Obviously, a self propelled anti air, a heavy engineer battalion, and a self propelled artillery. Whereas we're adding main battle tanks. There's the boys, man. What's up with poops? It is nice to meet you. There's no world tension, so I'm taking Tajikistan. Hello, Tajikistan. Thank you for joining. The great union of the Tsar. Welcome joining this beautiful country. We welcome you with open arms. Berlinsk. 4G. We're bringing you 4G to Tajikistan. 4G. How can you goddamn complain, bro? You're welcome. You're welcome accepting the great gift of Russia. I have no more woggles here, I think. And I pop it. Oh! We... Dude, I just poisoned the guy. And now Mafalda von Hessen... My girlfriend, that is my girlfriend, just took over Finland. And Finland became officially a puppet. Finnish MILF? Chat, you guys are so thirsty, man. Increase autonomy focus instantly. <laughs> Fucking women. First, they want to be with you, and then they're like, I want to be more autonomous, man. You're getting fat, you're losing hair. I don't like you much anymore. Syria, they got one Syria. You would think they have enough problems with Turkey, but hey, that's just Syrian things. Am I right, man? Okay, Finland is like bugged out. They will infinitely have freedom points. The game is getting a little bit buggy now. Gentlemen, our first six tanks. Brother, we're all friends here, man. We're all friends here, right? Just really quickly hugging you. Welcome to Turkmenistan. We are so happy to welcome you to the greatest faction of all times, which is just the Tsar and no one else. Okay, we have to, this is now my finishing tree. When I, I have to kill the USA. Help Armenia. Azerbaijan is gonna peacefully join us. We're very excited to welcome them. 
Let's stop the rivalry, man. Let's be friends in the Caucasus. NATO is starting to get concerned, huh? B against NATO aggression. Oh, shit. We're going against NATO. Okay, boom. And I have my first tank division. We could probably end this with the invasion of Ukraine. And here comes the first armored forces. Under the great Alexei Vladimirovich Zavrishchuzelinaria. Here's our armored forces, man. And they will just crush through the plains of Ukraine. Connect quickly with Kiev and end the war quickly. But still, we have to wait for world tension to go a little bit lower. I don't like this one. I need to move people a bit. The attrition here does not look good. No war goal. Wait, huh? Russia said, no, no, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's ultra bullshit. I had a, yeah, whatever the fuck, man. Every time I play these mods, they just get so buggy after a while. Yeah, okay, fuck that. Now, will the boys land? Will the boys land? The airdrops are unfortunately not working. This is very Russian right now. My tanks are just crushing through, man. Whoa, it actually fucking worked. Holy crap. Entrench, entrench, entrench. Taking all the supply hubs instantly. Damn. I would like to save the... Vol they, they, are, they're, they can die, man. That's kind of their goal, right? And I'm retreating my Spetsnaz. They did enough. They got medals instantly. Holy crap. I mean, that was pretty good. Kiev is taken instantly. My tanks are completely broken. The tanks are unstoppable, man. They're so good. I have to puppet them, though. Because of certain fucking shit. These fucking tanks, man. Just break through. Just break through, man. But again, in modern day war, right air is everything. My air is crushing them. It's the air. Ukraine is no more, boy. I mean, they're, they're gonna keep existing, just in a little bit of a different way of existence. This is not force at all for me, right? Just be friends with the Tsar, man. At least I'm not playing quite Putin, man. I think that's okay, morally speaking. I'm building some infrastructure in Russia. One infrastructure, great focus, man. Russia gets one. Slava Ukraine! I need to, uh, I need to, I need to puppet them, man. Let's go. Here we go. Monarchist. The monarchist nationalists. Okay, now, now the USA is a bit mad. Now we gotta be careful. I made a lot of world tension with the peace treaty of Kiev. We got the tank core, we got everything. I probably have to be AFK again. Because I cannot make any world tension. We gotta hang out a bit. Um, I, I was thinking, I think I, I wanted to cheat these two away. Because that's kind of dumb now in the lore, right? I'm going to cheat these two away. UKR. So I officially announce that these states will now be incorporated to Ukraine. Since Ukraine is now a great friend of Moscow. Good job, Ukraine. But my army is not ready to fight NATO, right? Korea declared one Korea. Okay, we have a massive Korean war. You guys have fun, man. Oh, well, someone is fucking in circle. Jesus Christ. Oh, he died. Funeral committee. <laughs> Eternal leader. Syria is the most fucked place ever. They have they have been at war with Turkey for 20 years. Like legit 14 years they've been at war most. Let's 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 start being a little bit of a warmonger. So I am sending the first Moscovian guard to Georgia, seeing if we can maybe have a nice little liberation going on. A quick little liberation. I mean it's 200 days. This game is still Millennium Dawn's issue is so hard that they're just so slow. This mod has to become so much faster. Every focus has to be cut down, man. Okay, Georgia, you're not, you're gonna, you're cool, right? You're gonna, you're cool, you're cool, right? Just a quick liberation, man. I feel like, I, I know this sounds harsh, man, sorry, but I feel like the developers from Land Dawn have no touch to their mod. They're like real developers. They always improve stuff nobody uh, cared about. But they never improve the stuff that actually needs improvement. Thank you! Now, let's, let's, let's talk NATO. Let's talk NATO, man. Oh, wait, Turkey is a NATO. Ah, Scheiße, that's a problem. Can I just snatch Sweden? I thought there's no way I can switch snatch Sweden, right? Let's try Sweden. And we have to be AFK for no days again. I'm too I'm too lazy of this flipping shit, man. The fucking influence stuff is so boring. It's so annoying, man. I'm sorry, man. The more I play this mod, the more it becomes utter shit, man. Why the fuck will the justification of 300 days, man? It's so awkward. I'm actually close to calling this content. It's so boring. Uh, it, it sucks for Marconi. It sucks for the content. I think though Marconi still has some videos in the back. And I'm just gonna sit here waiting 300 days for uh, invasions. And then I probably completely shit on NATO because my divisions are broken and AI doesn't understand divisions. Well, oh, thank you. That's the universe. That is the universe telling me. That is the... Thank you, universe. I'm hereby officially calling the Russia game. I'm sorry, Marconi, for YouTube content. I will try something else. Maybe I'm done, but this is so fucking boring, man.